Today's video, uh, my diesel heater has thrown up an E3 code, which is error three, which can either be voltage, low voltage. If you're watching this video, you might want to check your voltage, check it's above about 12.5. Um, or it could be a glow plug error. Now, I'm going to show you inside the diesel heater um, and I'm going to show you how you want to test the glow plug. You'll need a multimeter to do this and you'll be able to see whether or not your glow plug has failed. This heater has unfortunately only been used like five times and it's already failed on me. So I've had to order a new glow plug and I've gone back to the manufacturer to see what they're willing to do. But in the meantime, I will show you how to test your glow plug to make sure it's working. So looking inside the um, cupboard here at the diesel heater, you're going to take the top cover off from your diesel heater and you'll see this cap here. Now you can actually um, take that off if you want to, but you don't need to. Um, I've disconnected it from the unit back here. Um, it's just got a little clip so you can take that off and that's probably the simplest way to test it. So what we're going to want to do is the green lead here would be the positive and the yellow lead there is going to be our negative so what we want to do is um, hold our black um, tester on the yellow line and our red tester on the green line so looking at this connector the green is positive so we're going to use the red lead for that one and it, you can actually see the screen behind me there or behind the lead there and we're going to use the black one on the or, on the yellow side and we're going to see how close that number is to zero now, as you can see, we've got 142.7.8 ohms there, which is way higher than we should have. We should have probably about um, anything under one there. Um, so that is exceptionally high, which means there's an open circuit. So that's how you check the um, glow plug to see if it's working. Um, as you can see, that's 143 now, so that has definitely failed. I've got another one in the post. It should be here today. Just make sure that you check your voltage first, go from there. But definitely grab yourself one of these multimeters if you're living in a self-built camper van or you want to build yourself a self-built camper van.